Today, we're going to show you how to make motion graphics in Filmora like After Effects. Hey everyone, welcome to Filmora MVP YouTube channel. Here we teach you editing tricks, filmmaking, and camera techniques. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel and also hit the notification bell to get updates on our new videos. Before we start editing, click the download link in the description box. Click on the free download option. Now, a Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just double click on it, agree with the terms, and here you go. Filmora started to download and install. Once it's installed, it'll start and run automatically. First of all, let's go to File, click on Project Settings, and change the frame rate to 60 FPS. Open Titles tab and bring the default title to the timeline. Double click on the title, go to Advanced Options. Here we delete the existing text and create a rectangle shape. Disable Text Fill and Shape Border option on the left side. In Shape Fill section, we change the color type to Gradient Fill. Meanwhile, create a gradient gray background by adjusting the color board. Then zoom out the shape size to cover the whole screen. Press OK to save the settings. Let's go back to the editing interface. Search for Push Transition under Transitions tab and add it to the beginning of title. Now go to one second forward. Here we add another default title to the timeline. Go to advanced panel of the title, delete the default text, choose a circle shape, then disable text fill and shape fill option on the left. In shape borders, increase the thickness of the circle, then change the color according to your background. Like here, we're using gray color for both circles and background. And keep changing the color until it started looking gradient. Next, copy this title, paste it onto the above layer. Then open advanced option of above default title and change thickness, size, and position again, but different than previous shape. And you can create circle shapes as many as you like. This step is to create the moving circles which we see in the background of our text intro. After that, double click on the first circle, go to animation tab, then add three keyframes, first at the beginning, then somewhere in the middle, and the third keyframe at the end. So now, go to first keyframe, then we have to change its scale to zero, but whenever we decrease the scale, its position starts changing. To fix this problem, we will decrease the scale in each stepwise and keep adjusting the position along with it. For second keyframe, we increase the scale of shape, but also adjust its position according to the center point of shape. Now apply the same keyframing method with every shape you created. So after adding animation to all the shapes, adjust the keyframe position of each shape layers to create various animation for all shapes. Until now, we have done the animating shapes in our background. Next, add default title to the timeline from 1 second and 30 frames. Go to advanced option of title, enable outline option, and disable fill option. We change the outline color to white, then decrease the opacity to 50% and increase the thickness to 1. Now type your text, choose your favorite font, after that, change this value here to 20. And now increase the text size like this. Zoom the text out, which almost fulfill the screen. Under Animation tab, find Typewriter Animation and apply it. Then change the starting time of animation by dragging this point to the left and disable the ending time of animation by completely dragging another point to the right. Now go to 1 second and 40 frames. Double click on Title, go to Animation tab and add a keyframe. Then go to the end or some seconds forward and change the X position till the last character of the text appears. Now again bring the default title to the timeline, go to its advanced option, 
Then type in your main text with any font and size. After that, go to Animation tab and apply this random to animation. Change the starting and ending time of animation according to your liking. So we're finally done, and that's how to make motion graphic like After Effects. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up. Plus, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon, but don't leave without sharing this video and leave your comment below. Bye!